Yeah, I just had art class, and uh, that went really well. It's art history, sort of. It's art in the city, so it's a bit of a weird conglomeration of art history and uh, art studies and, you know, just art and how it affects us in the city today. Um, and I just got two projects back, one of which I got 100% on, which was awesome because that's how I use tweeting, and I'm glad I know how to tweet, seeing it's part of my job. And uh, I was a social media expert at a company uh, two summers ago, so I, I hope I know how to use Twitter. Um, and then my second was a formal analysis of a piece of art, um, which was Sun Pirates Fighting at Sunrise by Horace Burnett, 1818, I'm glad I remember that. Uh, I got 92% on. So I'm not doing too poorly in that class, and uh, basically just have to do the study notes and get ready for the exam. The only other exam I have is in uh, film art, and I actually do have to catch up on readings for both of these classes because I haven't been doing much of the readings and I know now, readings have to be done because they're on the exam. So, note to future university and college people, do the, uh, do the readings, they're on the exam. So I just had a um, poppy seed tuna bagel from uh, Great Canadian Bagel. <coughs> and uh, it was delicious as heck and I'm nice and full and I've got my water here. And now I don't, because now I'm out of water, so I need to refill. Um, plans for today, I've got my History of Maps class at 2.30, which is in an hour and a half. Uh, and then I've got my guitar lesson, so I need to practice guitar. I need to practice a bit of snare drum. Then I need to do, <laughs> do more reading, and then I need to continue editing day two of Buffer Fest. And yeah, you know what? Cool thought here. I've been getting noticed the past couple of days because of what I've been doing on YouTube, and this is just the most amazing thing. <coughs> Sorry, people coming up to me and just saying, Ted, I saw your video last night, you, you're doing really well, and you know, and then um, Raven, hi Raven, how are you, um, told me I was an inspiration today, and that's the first time I've ever really been called um, an inspiration, so Raven, thank you so much, uh, I'm glad you watch my videos, and I'm glad I can inspire you, and girl, I gotta say, get back to doing videos, because if you like it and you love it, do it. That's all I can say is just do it if you love it. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna maybe do school and stuff, and then, yeah, so I'm on a new camera today. I'm on a, a uh, Fujifilm XP, um, the Finepix XP. I've been using my big, uh, my big honkin' Canon video camera, um, and it's just a little bit not portable. And so this Canon XP is, like, beautiful. It's, um really slim. It's also waterproof, dustproof, shockproof, freeze-proof, and like life-proof. So this camera is indestructible. I can take it anywhere, even if it's wet, so it's like the perfect daily vlogging camera. Um, so I'm gonna get to work. I'm gonna get some uh, guitar practicing done, maybe get some uh, editing done, then I'm heading off to math class. Catch up with you after that. So for today, you, you might have to put up with some uh, out-of-focusness on my face, because I'm not sure exactly how this camera focuses, and obviously it doesn't do it very well. Um, but, I mean, it's enough to get my point across. So, I guess I'll just have to live with it. Alright, so yeah, I just had dinner and that was good. That was Greek food. Greek food. Chicken souvlaki dinner, which is basically Greek salad and chicken and potatoes and rice. Pretty dang tasty. And it's really dark outside right now, but it's only 7 o'clock exactly. So I don't know what's going on. I don't. I don't know why the sun hates us. I don't know why it's left us so early. I don't know why. You know, she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. So tonight, I have to do all that work I was telling you that I had to do because of exam stuff. And then I have to edit the videos and stuff. So yeah, super exciting times. I have a lot of work to do. Andrew and I just went for a long walk, about an hour, maybe 15 minutes to half an hour. I mean, an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half. Um, we walked down to... I don't even know where we were walking. I kind of I just saw like an apartment complex in the distance. I'm like, I want to walk there. Let's see what happens if we go there. And so we went there, and then I decided, let's go farther. So we went farther, and we found um, this weird plaza of stores and stuff. And in that plaza, there was a Chinese food store, or Asian food store, I don't know if it was particularly Chinese. Um, 
It was the most disgusting smelling place I have ever been to, ever. You walk in the door, okay, and it's just, it's just the smell, the stank of fish enters your nostrils and you go, oh, okay, let's enter the store as quickly as possible. Oh, that's stinky. And you get in and you think, nice, let's go to the vegetable aisle, because that aisle actually smells good, or the fruit aisle, because that aisle actually smells good. And then you go down there and it smells like manure. Ugh! Fish and manure, and the whole store smelled like that. And so we left that store promptly because it just stank. And we went into this awesome little dollar store. And in that store we found absolutely nothing except for an off-brand of the Webster's Dictionary. And it was kind of, it was kind of funny because I think it was like, um, oh, it was like Webster's Dictionary. Like they, they changed the name just slightly and kept the same font. And gave it off as a dictionary, but some of the words, like, the descriptions were so brief, like, it wasn't really a dictionary, it was like, a word with two words sort of describing that word. <laughs> it, was, it was really funny. Um, and then we went to Rexall, and I've got to admit something, I just had... Okay, so we found, it was about this big, if you can imagine the other half of the circle, of a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, which are, like, the most amazing things in the world. And... Giant, so we split it half and half, and it was so good. And I feel slightly bad about it, but at the same time, I don't. So, um, it was just, it was just, oh, it, it was delicious. It absolutely was. And so then we came back to campus, and now I'm here. I've got to send some files over to Will so he can do his buffer fest video. I've got to finish my day two buffer fest video right now, and I got to edit this together. Um, I just got some bubble tea. Bubble tea is delicious. It's just flavored green tea with ice and tapioca. Except I don't get tapioca, I get jelly. Because tapioca makes me sick a little bit. Um, yeah, dinner was Greek food, I already told you that. And then I need to go to sleep early tonight because I got an early screenwriting class tomorrow, but then again, you get to see me go to that. So, uh, you know, unless something else comes up, Slancha, have a good night. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Talk to me, I love talking to you, and uh, I guess I'll see you in the morning.